Hey guys, on today's video, I'm talking about iOS 17. Now, if you go into directly to Apple.com, let me just scroll all the way down, you're gonna see all the devices that are compatible with iOS 17. So if your device is not in the list, it means it's not compatible. So here we go, if you scroll almost all the way down, you're gonna see the whole list. Now this will start from the oldest one, which would be iPhone SE, second generation or later. Then you have the iPhone XR, iPhone XS, iPhone 11, 12, 13, 14, and obviously 15. Now if your phone's not in this list, you don't see it there, it means you cannot install iOS 17 into it, even if you want to trick your phone to do it. Now, yes, a lot of people are going to be angry at this video. However, you're going to thank me later after you waste a bunch of time looking to ways to upgrade your iPhone to iOS 17. You're going to figure out that you can't even if you jailbreak, for example. Jailbreaking is awesome, but still, you cannot do iOS 17 on it. And obviously, there's scams online that will tr try to trick you to install stuff, but it's nothing. They're just going to take your money or it may take your information for that matter. So watch out with those and don't be tricked into any videos that teach you how to install iOS 17 on all the devices where you really can't. Now, there is nothing new about this with every single big iOS update. There are phones that stay behind because they just can't handle it. The hardware from the iPhones themselves cannot do it. They will just be too slow. So hopefully with this video, for those of you looking for a way to do this, Finally, you're just gonna stop because really there is no way to do it. You're just kind of wasting your time at this point trying to update an older phone to the latest iOS. So for example, if you have an iPhone 7 or an iPhone 8, there just is no way to get iOS 17 on it. Now keep in mind that you're not really missing on anything. iOS 17, I would say is one of the smallest updates I've seen. There's not huge changes or, or huge things for your phone, it's not gonna make it twice as fast or anything like that, so you're not really missing out. There's little changes to it, but I would say they're very, very, very little compared to other iOS updates that we had from before. But anyways, if you guys have any comments, questions, you guys can write down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and like. Thank you.